I'm Greg Higgins. I'm an artist, um, self-taught from Las Vegas, Nevada. I've been doing graphic design, illustration, and painting for 30 years. Um, and now I'm based in Portland, Oregon. Mike Valley is a pro skateboarder. He's been pro for 30 years, and these boards are to commemorate the 30 years of his being a professional skateboarder. Uh, the inspiration from the designs of the boards came from just conversations with Mike and just learning about his history over the years and what he thought and kind of went through during certain phases of his career and his life. He's a dude who never stops moving and is always does things he's super interested in and just goes for stuff. He played professional hockey at like age 40. He, you know, he helped pioneer and push and progress um, skateboarding, particularly street skating, and since its early inception. And he's a pretty significant player in that realm and just as a pro skateboarder who, I mean, there's a, a ton of pro skateboarders and a ton of skateboarders and Mike is one that he's stayed very, very true to what he believes in. And I think what his legacy is, is, um, you know, just being very true to yourself and who you are and being honest and open-minded and pushing as hard as you can for what it is you want to do. A very passionate, loving guy. And talking with Mike and getting to know him over the years and everything else, uh, looking at how to do these boards and my mindset going into it to go for, you know, the span of 30 years of his career as a pro skateboarder so far. We discussed his origins and, you know, we both kind of saw eye to eye on the early days of, you know, being influenced by punk rock, Black Flag, and et cetera. And so I decided to do the first board in black and white. I'm gonna thin this out a little bit. But the reason I chose black and white is just because of the rudiments. It's just kind of where it all starts. So my approach to the background on this is just confusing, hectic, and sloppy. It's just kind of obviously intentional, but you know, it goes back to probably uh, talking to Mike and just understanding where I was at this time and where we all kind of were when we found skateboarding and bikes and punk rock is that it is just confusing and hectic and sloppy <laughs> at that period in your life. and it's not precise, but there's a precision that we're kind of reaching for with riding and skating, something that we could make our own and do good in. And I think a little bit of a sloppy approach at the onset of this series is pretty fitting. You know, a lot of the techniques that I'm using to paint the boards is, 
born of my own interest in sign painting and pinstriping and cartooning and drawing. So they're a culmination of a lot of um, a skill set that I've been honing, kind of trying to envelop all of the accumulative iconic imagery that has been used through his career, you know, most significantly the bolt, which is a common theme throughout all of the decks, and just marrying it with my skill set and just trying to really push myself to do my best on these boards. Garage land is the concept of doing it yourself from, and sticking to your roots and being honest with what you want to pull off and not really wavering from that. And a lot of it happens in garages. 